this video we are replacing standard display to digital one. Let's stick around how we do that. So there is a really good manual on d5d5.com uh, how to do that. I will put the link down below. Uh, but first you need to have a dice or uh, some other communication cable uh, in order to read out the car and read out the old dim and do the backup of the old or existing driver information module before you proceed to replace the new one. So that is the first job to do. This is what I did. Made uh, yeah, the wire extension, twisted wire extension, and these the pins, uh, plug pins you can buy actually for the Volvo from the Volvo also. It's much easier then. We can salvage from the some similar similar wiring harness. Uh, Anywho, uh, yeah, I bought them from the myself from the Volvo, the part number is here somewhere and then in this plug you need to get to the pins number 7 and 8 and then you count from this side so you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then there's the come on buddy So, so let it. So, can I install it now? So, what did I say? Right. 
30 minutes. The one thing I really sure is that get to the sins. Right. Looks like they are right. Seven and eight, okay. That's done. Fish this wire down to OBD. Down to OBD. Look. So what I did located this here was the green and the green black and blue black wire and now I already tied tidy it up but then uh, one wire goes to the blue and black and one wire goes to the green and black and then it's yeah I can there uh, it's the here is the plugged in two wires there and uh, uh, what we need to do we need to install the new nice and shiny display and the only thing that it's well, you can take from any model uh, etc as long as it's not the v40 i believe and also pay attention on the is it from the automatic gearbox or the manual gearbox uh, so let's see now that's gonna go. And then you put it in, plug it in, and then you need to program it. Now you need to reconnect again and the connection cable for the dice run the uh, V dash and then uh, with the new panel you see and do the same the programming is it will take from the backup file and I will program the dim module the new dim module to the car. And here is a final product, so digital dim installed in a 2013 OXC60 or any of the P3 platform, you can do that. Uh, so it makes the car much more modern than is the older display. Hope you enjoyed, take care, bye.